I'm here just off uh, Clonkeen Road with Sean Kennedy and he's showing me this treasure trove of photographs from around Dunleary and spanning really 100, 150 years, uh, mostly looking at the Carlisle Pier, uh, the old railway station uh, which was there for 150 years and was demolished early in September of this year. But it's an amazing place of history. We have photographs of the old steam trains uh, leaving Carlisle Pier and even a photograph of... It's leaving coal, but we'll finish in Carlisle Pier. An incredible route. Just the coal. We, we, yeah. We've De Valera there uh, at the time of the handing over of the, the port. Tr treaty reports. That's right. How did you, uh, Sean, how did you acquire all of these? Did you take I many took of them, them all, I took them on from 1941, roughly. And I had a very good friend who was older than I was, now dead, of course, and he covered 1920 to 1940. So that's how we have a succession. It's incredible. The, yeah. the, the, the kind yeah. of photographs, the, this one must be... Well, that's, uh, a, that's, a well, that's going back uh, yeah. older, but obviously just before 1900, the woman yeah. on the bicycle and the Carlisle Pier in the distance and the old paddle steamers which had been retired at that stage. But even if you come up to the 1950s, the, the hustle and bustle, uh, the early 20th century, the hustle and bustle around the pier, it's then, an incredible. There was a different though, approach then. We were out spending our time photographing and, and looking around, which is not done today. Number yeah. one, you wouldn't be let. You wouldn't be <laughs> exactly. Free you to. wouldn't be let on. But um, that was. We just sort of photographed what we saw. We never thought really ahead as to what would happen. It. Yeah. You know, that's sixty years ago. It re really is. But it's an incredible archive, and I, I really hope that it is uh, anyway. retained just to show us what Dunleary was like. But let's say my cataloguing up isn't up to... There's the same uh, that I have relevant to Cove, Dundalk, up yeah. to, the, all transport ships, but mainly steam engines, of course. Fantastic. And, of course, the main point I keep making is every one of the steam engines and all its coaches were all made from raw materials in, in Inchicore and in Dundalk. It really is now, spectacular. That's right? what we that's call an 800. Right. That was built from the ground up in Inchicore. It is still the fastest and most powerful engine ever to run in Ireland, much more powerful than today's diesels. Yeah, it's an incredible, it's an incredible legacy. Another thing, really steel castings were archive. done in Inchicore to finish that. It's they wouldn't just, just amazing to think yeah. that all of took, that took place. So there we are. So look, a piece of history and uh, it's That's been it. a pleasure and an honour to be here. Delighted to have you. Delighted to have you. Kieran Cuff, uh, Green Party TD for Dundee, with Sean Kennedy looking at the archive of photographs from the last hundred years.